Welcome to two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project traffic prediction for intelligent transportation system using machine learning. Before diving into the execution, let me give you an overview of the project. So the traffic prediction anticipates future traffic conditions to streamline transportation. Its importance lies in reducing congestion, optimizing routes, enhancing safety and lessening environmental impact. But traditional methods of traffic prediction often fail due to their reliance on historical averages or simplistic models. So this project aims to create an advanced traffic prediction system using machine learning. It involves two primary data sets. One is the traffic data set and the other data set used is vehicle movement data set. So traffic data set is used to train the machine learning algorithms. It contains columns like road ID, direction, date, time and outcome. And the vehicle movement data set is used to train the RNN model. It contains columns like date, time, junction, vehicles and ID. And the workflow includes EDA that is exploratory data analysis for understanding data patterns, pre-processing for data cleaning and preparation, visualization to illustrate traffic patterns, model training and evaluation where we have trained different machine learning and deep learning algorithms like logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, support vector machines and RNN. And we have evaluated their performances using different performance metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. And the last step in the workflow is the deployment via Flask for user-friendly access. So the overall objective of the project is to enhance traffic management systems through accurate and real-time traffic forecasts. This benefits urban planners, commuters, and environmental agencies by improving traffic flow, reducing travel times and lowering emissions, contributing to smarter cities and sustainable living. So this is the overview. Now we'll look at the software and hardware requirements to execute this project. Hardware requirements are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Software requirements are application needed is Anaconda. Primary language required is Python. Front-end framework needed is Flask. Back-end framework needed is Jupyter Notebook. And front-end technologies required are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Now we'll look at the algorithms built. So first we have built a algorithm belonging to the RNN family using the vehicle movement dataset. And we have evaluated its performance using RMSE score. Later, we have trained these machine learning models using traffic data set. So we have evaluated these machine learning models performances using accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. And we have observed that decision tree has outperformed other models in all the performance metrics. So we have deployed decision tree into the Flask framework. So we will be executing the project using Flask web application. Before execution, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is the code folder and these are the contents I have in the code folder. This is data folder in which I have vehicle movement data set and traffic data set. So this is the traffic data set. So we can see these are the columns I have, road ID, direction, date, time in hours, and outcome. So on this data set, we'll be training the machine learning algorithms. And this is the vehicle movement data set. We have split this data set into two sets, train and test set. Train set is for training the RNN model and test set is for evaluating the model's performance. So we can see these are the columns I have in this data set, date, time, junction, vehicles, and ID. 
this is static folder. So this folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, home.html, and more representing different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is model file which contains algorithm information. So this file will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. And this is the Jupyter notebook file, Jupyter source file, which contains a combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. So Jupyter notebook allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. This is about the code folder. Now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. This is the path I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. Use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command executes the Python script and performs a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I usually prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So now we have to fill in these parameters and click on the predict button to get the traffic predictions. First, we'll understand these parameters. So road identity number is the unique identifier for each road segment. Direction is the direction of traffic flow on the road segment. Day represents the day of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And time in 24 hours is the time of the day in a 24 hour format. Now we'll fill in these parameters. Road identity number would be 5. Direction would be southeast. Day is Monday and time in 24 hours would be 15 that is 3 o'clock afternoon now click on predict button so here we can see these are the parameters which we have entered and for the given set of parameters the application has predicted high traffic so here we can see the given direction has high traffic based on previous data so change the route happy journey so that is what the application has given us this is the outcome based on the input which we have given. Click on back. So this time road identity number would be six. And direction is northwest. Day would be Monday. And time in 24 hours would be nine, nine o'clock. Now click on predict button. So these are the values which we have entered and here we can see the result that is the given direction has no tra traffic based on previous data, happy journey. So we can see there is no traffic based on the previous data. Click on back. We'll try giving another set of parameters. So this time road identity number is 16. Direction would be 
साउथ वेस्ट डे इज ट्यूजडे एंड टाइम इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वुड बी एटीन दैट इज सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन द इवनिंग नाउ क्लिक ऑन प्रिडिक बाटन सो हियर वी कैन सी दीज आर दी पैरामीटर्स विच वी हैव एंटर्ड एंड वी कैन सी द रिजल्ट द गिवन डायरेक्शन हैज हैवी ट्रैफिक बेस्ड ऑन द प्रीवियस डेटा सो चेंज द रूट सो दिस इज द प्रिडिक्शन According to the given set of parameters, the application has predicted heavy traffic. Click on back. So this time, road identity number would be one. Direction is west. Day would be Wednesday and. Time would be nine o'clock. Now click on the predict button. So here we can see the result. That is, the given direction has low traffic based on previous data. So according to the given input, the application has predicted low traffic based on the previous data. Click on back. Road identity number would be fourteen. Direction is northwest. Day would be Friday, and time is six. Now click on predict button. So here we can see. the prediction that is the given direction has high traffic based on the previous data please change the route so this is the prediction click on back we'll try once again road identity number would be 13 direction is northwest day is wednesday Time would be seven o'clock. Now click on predict button, so we can see the result is high traffic again. So these are the parameters which we have entered, and here we can see the outcome. That is, the given direction has high traffic based on the previous data. Please change the route. So this is the outcome. given by the application so in this way we have to fill in these parameters click on the predict button to get the traffic predictions we'll try one last time so this time road identity number would be 5 direction is southeast day would be friday and time is 10 o'clock now click on predict button so this is the input which we have given and here we can see the output that is the given direction has heavy traffic based on previous data so this project aim to revolutionize traffic prediction using advanced machine learning techniques by leveraging comprehensive data sets and a systematic workflow we strive to develop a robust system that enhances transportation efficiency benefiting commuters authorities logistics and environmental sustainability thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.